January finds me house sitting in an off grid, practically off road um, house made of straw. Um, I find myself here quite unexpectedly. I had very different plans for the next month. In fact, let me tell you the story of my omelette. So what's the omelette got to do with where I am? So if you saw my December video, I'd moved around to quite a lot of different places and it's quite exhausting and time consuming as you can imagine. So I had thought that I need to just um, spend a month in one place again. And then I was making an omelette one morning and it was just not going right because the pan wasn't any good. I didn't have a spatula and my omelette was a disaster. And you may think, what's that got to do with where you are and what you're doing? Well, it just demonstrates how simple everyday things um, are just not, not straightforward when you're moving around a lot. So I was obviously in somebody else's kitchen their pan wasn't very good, they didn't have a spatula and um, it just made a simple task of making an omelette. Sorry, the sun's just come out very strong in my eyes. Yeah, so something as straightforward as, you know, a simple task just is not simple and takes extra time. So, um, and then I did an omelette again a few days later with my own decent frying pan and a spatula, just a 90 cent spatula from um, Ikea. But yeah, so just something like just thinking, right, I'm going to go and do a lunch for omelette. Sorry, I'm going to go and do an omelette for lunch. It's just a simple thing, which turns out to be not simple when you're, yeah, when you're not in your own kitchen and you're moving around. And anyway, it's just all quite time can time consuming and um and uh tiring if it's fine if um if that's all you're doing it's just traveling around for the sake of traveling around but i have to live um normal a normal everyday not normal but you know um a normal normal life where i have to work and yeah just get things done hello one of the cats has come to join me. Oh, are you, this, come, Zoe, come and say hello. This is Zoe, don't be shy. This is Zoe, who last night was sleeping on my head. So, um, where was I? Anyway, so how I ended up here, so I'd already decided that I kind of wanted to be in one place again for a bit. Sorry, I just had to move because the sun really was in my eyes. So basically what I wanted for January was just again to be in one place and um, uh, some simplicity because I have got stuff like the pan when the omelette did go well was my own pan. But if I only stay in somewhere for a few days, I can't unload everything out of my car, you know, all my kitchen stuff and everything and you know just to put it all back in um in a couple of days but whereas if i'm in one place for one amount of time i can do that it's like a mini moving each time so um so what i decided i wanted for january was just again just to be in one place for a month and i had actually sort of booked an airbnb so I'd agreed to book in because I the Airbnb that I was going to stay in for the month, um, I'd stayed there before. So I just WhatsApp them and said, can I book for a month? And they was doing me a special rate for a reduced rate for, for the month. And so because I hadn't booked it on the Airbnb platform, I hadn't paid yet. I just agreed to it. So, um, so I'd gone there and somebody asked me about this house sit for this house. And um, and it was just in the same area as the Airbnb. So I said, well, I'm coming down to um, the Fundau area. And um, so I'll come and see you, but I'm not promising anything. You know, I'm really, I'm booked to stay in this Airbnb for a month, but um, well, I'll come and have a chat. But anyway, long story short, um, I just canceled the Airbnb and said I'd come and do this house it which is a far cry 
from what I wanted for my January. So as I said, it's off grid. I mean, there's off grid and off grid. It depends on how you set it up. It doesn't have to be challenging or difficult, but this one's a little bit more work. So the first day, um, it was very chilly. It was a very frosty, um, frosty morning when I left out to come here the first day. So it was very cold. I didn't have any firewood, any kindling. So luckily I have two off grid friends um, reasonably close by Evelyn and Cindy who both kindly gave me um, some firewood and Evelyn gave me a nice big bag of kindling so that was that sorted then I was without water for four days so I had to go and collect water for all my water for everything all my water usage and that wouldn't have been so bad if um, the road is so terrible getting in and out of here. That's why I say it's practically off grid, off road. But, um, which is fine. I don't mind, mind living like that at all. But it's a far cry from what I wanted um, at this moment in time. So this is the setup. We have a composting toilet, which um, you can only poop in. To pee, you have to go outside in the bushes. And I'm not even gonna tell you the challenges that that brings. Try to poop and pee separate. Use your imagination. Poop be here in the toilet, pee out there. It bring, It's challenging. So a bit like my omelette situation, a simple task as going to the toilet, especially at night in the rain, is not so simple. So for water, drinking water needs to be collected and there is a well for tap water, which obviously isn't drinkable, but you can use for washing up, showering. And the generator operates the pump for the, pump for the well. There is no fridge. This is my fridge. I'm just watching videos on how they work. And this is the temperature at the moment outside. Um, I'll check the temperature in there as it is. Then I shall prepare it, stick the thermometer in and see what we get. And these are my two shadows, no matter where I am, there they are, not far behind. There are two more cats. One is just disappeared, doesn't want to come near me. It thinks I want to kill it. And the other one, um, he's fine, but he's just a bit more aloof. But he has warmed up to me and he does come for cuddles in the evening. And he really enjoys my yoga mat and my yoga bolster. Right, this is to note what the temperature's like in there, just as it is. I've got some sand just to fill up these little holes and um, we'll get this thing going. Right, so now I water it. The ones, whoops, the ones I have seen on YouTube, sorry, I'm trying to point this and get the water in this tiny space um the ones i've seen on youtube have a lot um this gap of sand is a lot lot thicker but yeah i don't know whether this is too narrow what do i know though but the ones i've seen on youtube are slightly uh wider this gap with the sand in anyway we'll see i'm going to put this down because i can't point and at the same time so as demonstrated on this um terracotta zia cooling system on this video he is obviously i am living a half-life here because if i had things set up properly something like this is great but unfortunately i am not idyllically picking my vegetables from the garden in order to maybe keep them cool for just a couple of days or something i still need to drive half an hour to the supermarket and i need to buy my food and keep it cool for at least a week so it's very good and it's very romantic but i'm 
you know, I'm halfway in between the lifestyles, which makes it very challenging. Right, so this is the fridge in the morning, but to be honest, I think it's probably about this temperature outside anyway. It's been three days without water. This is bath time. I have a flannel and a bowl. Right, now as I can't go ordering a big load of firewood, um, I am going to get, try this from Lidl and these bricks. Right, so off-grid life, you spend a lot of time just doing daily tasks. I've done my washing at the Intermarche. I've got my wood and briquettes from Lidl. Filled up everything I have for water. Are you comfy? Seeing as I've got the um, fire going anyway, might as well heat up the water for the washing up. Uh, instead of wasting the gas in no hurry right so there's the house and this is where you have to go to turn on the generator for water now it wouldn't tell i was going to have a shower this morning it wouldn't turn on it's too early and too cold and i couldn't cope with sorting it out then well, it would it would turn on but it just turned off again so i don't know if it's out of fuel or what and also it moves a hell of a lot so this really needs sorting no can't hear anything so it's definitely fuel let's get that filled up here goes i hate these things <laughs> go and wash up but the way that moved it was about to knock that battery over one thing i cannot do in this house is use my neutral bullet so i have actually let me turn the camera around this little contraption which i paid a ridiculous amount of money from from tupperware i know they do Lidl and aldi do their own cheaper version you can't see the blade but it's one of those cutter things um, but I was just so excited at seeing a Tupperware store. We don't have Tupperware in the UK anymore. So honestly, it was a ridiculous amount of money. But one thing I like to use my Nutribullet for is my plantain pancakes. It's just egg and banana or plantain. Um, but I use unripe plantain for um, resistant starch. Anyway, so, um, and it's um, powered like this. So I'm going to try it. It should, it should do the job. So this is how it works. You just, it's just like that. But just a really simple pull. Gives it, this is good. I've got my dressing gown on because it is freezing. Let's have a look. That's not bad not bad at all it's certainly not um Nutribullet standard but i reckon that might do i think well let's try right so like i said it's definitely not Nutribullet standard it's a bit lumpy but i think that that'll do well i haven't tasted it yet we'll see looking good i have my peanut butter on and this will be the moment of truth. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm. The texture's a little bit, a little bit odd. Mm. The texture is a little bit odd, but <coughs> it's not a complete disaster. Cats are hilarious. I see. <laughs> I sit and watch cat videos and dog videos. I have to ban myself off of Instagram, otherwise hours of my life will be um, 
wasted away watching cat and dog videos because they are hilarious and I do find looking after cats so entertaining as are these four. So I get woken up at 4am in the morning for letting out time. That's their letting out time. There's actually three of them are all right. They're perfectly quiet. There is one which is vocal and lets me know at 4am it's his letting out time. Wherever I am, there is always a cat. Zoe, you are chief mouth catcher. Oh my God, I need to make sure that door is shut. Oh, what is he? Yes, do your job. Oh my God, what have you got now? Oh, your stomach just rumbled. Or was it mine? Of all the places you could put your dead mouse, right, I've got my pan. Either you take that out or I take it out. Don't you just love cats? Thank you so much for my present. A nice big rat. You are so kind. Can you take it somewhere else? So glad you can't get in the house. Yes. Do we all really need to be here? Do we? Do you all think my car's a good place to hang out today? Eh? Do you all think my car's a good place to hang out? Hmm? I sit here and then the cat is never far away. She sits under there. Are you not taking it in turns? Hmm? Are you not taking it in turns under my table? Drive this road all the time, but the mountains just look so beautiful today it just looks extra crisp and beautiful today and i've never really noticed those terraces before basically or mud <laughs> yes <laughs> oh dear you're hilarious lovely Bella Pedra farm um, calendar so I'm going to do some planning and I like to be able to um, I only use a calendar in a iPhone but I like to be able to see the whole month um, at one glimpse so I'm really pleased with that it's lovely and it stands up thanks Cindy Right, the boot's open, so someone has decided he would get in and have a good look around. What are you doing, Amor? Hmm? You are something else. You really are. Yes, out of my car.